Now about 10 years ago, me and some friends made a really crappy homemade movie based on Stephen King's It. It was 2005 that we started, if I remember correctly, February 2005? Which we called Stephen King's Shit It, because that's exactly what it is, it's shit. It's just a group of friends being idiots, trying to make a decent film, which it fails on on every level with an old analogue camcorder. So let's take a look at that with this being the 10th anniversary of this classic film that nobody has ever seen and nobody ever will. So this is the first scene and I had this idea of um, kind of trying to squat down and have my knees as my feet as a little girl but it didn't really work and I looked like some sort of a spider person really didn't work, did it? But I thought it was funny, so fuck it. You were crap about that scene though, right? It's really bad. You were meant, you were like, crouching down to be a little girl, yeah. but whoever was filming it, <laughs> filmed your feet, so it's just you <laughs> leaning down. It's so like stupid. Some, that's how I always envisaged the scene was, we'd just see like the, you know, the feet on his knees. Yeah. And it'd actually look like a Oh yeah, we were hold, holding your shoes, weren't you? Yeah. yeah. Because I've tried to lace them to my knees, but <laughs> well, that didn't, didn't work. work. <laughs> so, I, so I had to hold them like that. But who that filmed it though? I think, it, I don't know if it was me or Wayne. <laughs> Might yeah. you actually. It wasn't me because I knew what I wanted. <laughs> but as director I just handed the camera to other people. <laughs> and just said, yeah, just go with the flow. That was a mistake. Yeah. Because we were filming this, on our free weekends when we weren't working, it was hard to organise people getting together all the time. So there are times when a certain person wouldn't be available, so we had to improvise, which resulted in a person playing another character, and then another character, and then another character, and this happened all the time. Oh. <laughs> I was only supposed to have like one role, and uh, due to people not showing up, people in and out of it it became a bit of a monty python mickey take you know we mm. had, i was playing like thousands of characters i played i mean right here i'm playing georgie i played richie on and off i played ben and i played penny lowbridge it was a question of who was there and who could actually just make the time to do these scenes this is some stupid homemade movie which we made in the future by a bunch of great guys making great spook movies just like this John said that he would kind of wish that he'd change Penny Lowbridge at certain points. So he'd be uh, Penny Lowbridge, then Penny Bruce, then Penny Richardson. What's your thoughts on that? Would you have preferred him to be Penny Richardson? No, I think because we'd already established him as Penny Lowbridge, I didn't think there was a point changing the name of the character. Because it was hard enough keeping up because, as I say, each of us was playing pretty much each character. I think we needed that kind of stability to keep the story going. So, no, I, I think Penny Lowbridge was uh, it was right to just keep that name because we'd already established it. You see, aside from Bruce, I think I'm the only person who played the same character all the way through. I think every single character in that film is portrayed by several different actors. It's hard to keep up. Even, like, uh, you know, as director, I was having a hard time in keeping up with who was playing who was like, so who played this guy last week or when we filmed last month, who was that? And it just became such a mishmash of confusion. It was kind of embarrassing at the time. But looking back, it adds to the comedic element in a way. <laughs> the best scene that I can picture in my mind is um, Bruce is meant to be in shots two different characters. So we film Bruce, film the his window, window. <laughs> and sh zoom into his reflection so you can see <laughs> he's got like a a pigtail in one side of his hair and he's meant to be the female then we zoom back yeah. out and then film him without the pigtail well, on that no, side the no the problem is you can still see the pigtail even when we've zoomed out yeah i know oh it's so bad <laughs> i'm actually playing a female here because uh, no females wanted to associate with us <laughs> you, can, you can always tell when it's a female character because for some reason females always wear towels over their head <laughs> yeah mrs kirsch i've got a tea towel on my head his wife like towel on my head again. When I play Evil Lynn, same thing. Towel on head, <laughs> balloons under t shirt. <laughs> um, right, filming at New Miller Dam was fun because it got us out of our comfort zone. 
because yeah, uh, everything we'd filmed up to that point had been in one place, on one street, at one house really. Um, New Melodam, as I say, got us out of our comfort zone, it allowed us to stretch a bit. Because as soon as we got there, we looked over at the dam and we saw the boathouse and immediately it was like, that is just like Stephen King's It. Filming there was great. It, it, visually, it was absolutely fantastic and looking at the actual Stephen King film of It, it really did have a feel of that and that's the first time we, like Maggie Man said, we stepped out of our comfort zone of filming in the same old surroundings so it kind of give it a kind of um, film-esque feel, if you will. Um, keeping within our no budget. Want to take it for a ride, buddy? I sure do, man. Riding around on the bike scene because we just let it go in that. You know, we we, uh, we played um, a theme tune off my phone at the time, which had a ringtone. I think it was I Dream of Genie. I Dream of Genie. Yeah. I remember that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, John was just shouting out lines. Bruce was suggesting lines that John was shouting out. And <laughs> afterwards we watched it. You couldn't even hear the lines, so there's no point even saying them. And John was absolutely fuming because he thought he'd made enemies out of his neighbours. <laughs> the thing that's really wrong with that scene is if we'd have known at the time we could have put audio over the top, we would have done, as opposed to holding up the mobile phone, playing a ringtone, while someone's holding the camcorder like that. In fact, there's one shot where you can see the mobile phone pop up into shot. It's that badly filmed. And like Dom says, it's like I'm shouting a whole heap of things and you can't hear them. So it was kind of absolutely pointless looking back, but you know, it's funny. You know, some of the stuff will pop proper on PC, some of the things, you know. <laughs> we had to cut loads of stuff out. Don't watch your most memorable scene. Um, probably a scene that we filmed in the kitchen where you're snorting cocaine. Yeah, and you had what, you had um, flour on your nose. Know. Yeah, because that, that was like the first instance of Eddie being Eddie where it was like, where you're going, ah yes, it's it's train, train tracks. tracks. I like train tracks, bring me over to my train tracks uh, and I like cocaine. You may steal my secret stash of cocaine, Eddie. It sure goddamn looks like it. Oh, pipe down, you old bag. I need to get out of this hellhole. Sayonara, bitch. Yeah, I suppose my most memorable would be right before that. It's either right before or right after, but where I'm playing the gym coach, got you up against the wall. <laughs> What's this on your nose? It's flour, isn't it? See, that's like the shot we were just talking about, but that works. Yeah. yeah. Until, I, until I throw him away. Nah. When you can sit. Because it's, like it's like I throw him away and he just sort of walks off. It's, <laughs> at, it's at that point obvious that I haven't got him up against the wall. Like I think, a, I'm actually on my knees. I think that works really well for like comedic purposes. <laughs> You're wearing the shitcase cinema shades there. Huh? You are indeed. Sweet. Sweet indeed. When this, uh, when this scene ended, when uh, you know, we're all running out and just... All of us trying to improv, and it's like it, it's like oh the the food, the booze, the fun of fancies, and then you run back and you go the, the table, table and chairs. chairs. Is that in the film? Yeah, it's yeah. in the film. Oh, is it? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. Just you, you just walked in and did it. And we just <laughs> like, oh, leave it. <laughs> Improvisation, kids. Yeah. The table and chairs. Now I wrote a script for this film, trying to make it professional on some level giving everybody lines, everybody direction, and it fails miserably on every level, as you can see in the footage. Hey, Benny, Benny boy, how are you? Where you been? We can't wait to get you down here with us, Benny boy. You're in my mind. You're only in my mind. How to flow. I know, I know, you'll show me how to float. I've heard it all before. In the original script, it was pretty much like the movie with Georgie who's going down the street. He sees Pennywise in the great, in our case, Penny Lowbridge. And we couldn't do that. So instead, we did it in the bathroom with a balloon there. But, you know, it was the same script. It was the same dialogue and everything. Nothing really changed out of it. Would it work better with the great? Possibly. But... It didn't take anything away from it. You know, I think we probably stuck to the script by about 90%. The other 10% was just made up on the spot, which I think contributes to the overall awesomeness of the film. That's awesomeness, not awfulness. Alright, let's make this quick. I don't want to see you. <laughs> <laughs> you want to 
I wrote this script, I pretty much knew the film id, like the back of my hand. I could quote, and I still can to this day, quote about probably 90% of that film, word for word. The, most of the script was probably written under the influence of Henry <laughs> Kane, <laughs> apart from the bits that didn't work. When I wasn't writing on my own at home, I was writing at work when I was in the office. So <laughs> I pretended to be sat there typing away hard at work, giggling to myself, and people were like, what are you laughing at? They're like, ah, oh, I'm just thinking of a joke, when really I'm sat there typing up the script. Oh God, I was getting paid to write this dirge. That's fantastic. How much does a finished film differ to the script? We well, should do that better than anyone. Quite considerably. <laughs> we went everywhere. I mean, you know, as, as you know, the film were filmed over what, like, course of nearly eight, what, nine months, something like that? Uh, yeah. I actually got well, told it wasn't here. To, yeah, well, we had, to, we had to switch actors around. The weather changes one day, it's sunny, the next day it's really cloudy in, like, the same scene. People didn't up. turn up. People didn't turn up. Bruce. People forgot the lines. Way. <laughs> I just really need to make a point of. Um, Wayne as an actor, um, he's fantastic and if um, anybody out there has seen him in the Interview the Caveman videos then you'll know what he's like. On the final day of filming we went to the pub straight afterwards and had a few drinks, quite a few, and we were filming some interviews and the question posed to Wayne was what was your favourite scene and his answer was something that we filmed a year prior which had no relevance, that just sums him up entirely. <laughs> He's amazing, is that guy. What was your favourite scene? Uh, it's got to be when you're running down that hillway stitch and calling Oliver. That was bloody fun to catch you with. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can't even do an interview right. <laughs> There's a scene we did where he's asleep and he's woken up by his mobile phone ringing and he has a conversation. And we, I don't know why we did it at the time. I just, I don't know what we were thinking, but for some reason we pranked his mobile phone. But the interference was picked up by the camcorder, so you can hear him going buzz, 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 buzz. And then, <laughs> for some reason, he had his phone on really loud, and it just, like, not only deafened him, but it deafened everybody in the room. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I'll come back. Hollywood sucks. Anyway, I'm sick of all the crappy awards. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> And then my last favourite scene with Wayne is he's sat on the sofa with shades on and he's just constantly looking like this because he's got his lines in front of him. That's how bad he is as an actor. This guy studied drama for God knows how many years at college. And he's there like this, okay? It's terrible. <laughs> Come on, Richie, I got a balloon for you. <laughs> Don't want a balloon? What's the matter? One balloon not enough? Helped if I was a bit better at all this. Look, here he is, the same man. It's not a man. Uh, it. Not... It. it. Uh, look. The photo's coming to life. It's the clown. His nose fell off. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Uh. I'll you all. Oh, oh I'll drive you crazy and I'll cane you all. From the one bit of dramatic acting here. Which still comes Look at that, that's dramatic top. acting. Brilliant. <laughs> I, mean, yeah, I mean, when you actually... That's dramatic acting there, leg of a Bruce. <laughs> now, when you're panning across that and they have the laughter in the background, it actually felt quite There you go, for old time's sake, come on. Hey. Oh, honey. I remember this one specific scene that we're trying to do. It looks like the jetty thing. And we had to take five or six different takes for just this stupid simple scene, running down these stairs and like, oh my god, we found, you know, we had to, we had a couple of people on watch just to keep an eye on, you know, see how close people were. And we'd have to like time it. We knew we were about oh, a couple of minutes away. We've got about a minute to do it, and then one of us would fluff his lines or we'd make a mistake or just look at it like, it's like, it's like, come on, it's fucking hard. Can it be to do a scene? The only problem is you would try and film it when there was nobody walking, the dogs or anything, so you might have a space of 60 seconds, 
So we'll be like, right, place everybody, set the camera up, get filming, someone would mess up with the line. It's like, oh, right, restart, start again. And then you see someone walking the dog or the screaming kids getting closer. So I get irate and be like, oh, fucking hell, just stop filming. Wait till they pass, then go again. Then somebody else come with a dog. And uh, yeah, it was just a, a nightmare, basically. But John, John really tried. I mean, like I said before, he's like obviously Jim Cameron, you know, if he didn't do what he liked, he'd just get a bit like, mad and a bit frustrated, pulling his hair out. It's probably why he's fucking bald now. But he really, really did. And continuity stuff that we always did was always amazing, you know, with stuff, you know, we always knew what we did weeks in advance. But yeah, they were pretty cool days. I don't know what we were thinking sometimes. This is like the script was there. We did one rehearsal, which was always diabolically bad. Then we did one take, and we only ever did one take. Now this is before digital camcorders came in and everything like that. We had an old analog one. None of us really seemed to know how the hell it worked or anything like that. I think it was Maggie Man's dad's camcorder, if I'm correct. The overall audio, when it had been edited, is in mono. For some reason, the picture is really small and condensed, and if you enlarge it, it just becomes pixelated to the point that you just think you're watching Adam Sandler's pixels, which is enough to give you AIDS. The filming of certain scenes is bad. I mean, take this one, for example. This picture frame, it's whoever filmed this, I mean, it might be me, for example, but clearly wasn't looking properly because you can see around the border. And it, oh, dear. Again, like I said, one take. Why didn't we do another one? Oh, Georgie, why were you came? Don't stop me, you dick! Jesus Christ! What are you using language like for that, son? It wasn't me, Dad, it was Georgie's picture! Bollocks! You need a good cane, I think! <gasps> well, the whole thing about the spoof is we made it for us. We never mm. made it for a wider audience. It's yeah, like a little thing that we made as a group of friends to laugh about, so it's 90% it's primarily in-jokes. We generated this entire treasure trove of in-jokes. I wasn't privy to these in-jokes when the filming started. You show it to somebody else and they won't even crack a smile because they just won't get the references whatsoever while yeah. we're being hysterics. Yeah. Um, so it's not accessible to a wider audience, but um, I personally think it's uh, comedy gold. I think it's yeah. the best thing ever. Henry Kane, God is in his holy temple, do you see? What the fuck are these guys talking about? You stupid kid. Sorry, I didn't see you. You want to get this show on the road? Sure. <laughs> Basically, it's just a bunch of friends getting together over the period of 10 months, which is ridiculous just to film on three weekends and um, just have a laugh, basically. But at the time, we actually <laughs> we were trying so hard and we thought it was going to be actually quite good. And anything that didn't work on that particular shoot. I was always told that it would all end well when it came to the editing process. Ah yes, the editing process. What can I say about that? You could tell us about it perhaps? Well, I thought it would be easy, but it wasn't. <laughs> it was annoying to say the least. It was really annoying. Oh, I'll drink to that. Mm. I think I've just broken your chair. Yeah, I was quite proud of the entire editing, to be honest. To be honest, everybody says it took about a year for me to do this, but I don't think it did. I think it took a few months at the most. Even to this day, 10 years on, Nobody's got a copy of it on DVD. I've got a documentary that we made on DVD. So it's so easy just to wind Bruce up. I mean, here's a clip from just over a year ago of me winding him up. <laughs> you can see how annoyed he gets still. John, 
Have you got that shit uh, edited video yet that Bruce has been working on for all these Yeah, he's been working on for about seven or eight, nine, Excuse ten me. years. No, that was finished. Nine years, boy. That was finished in 2006, I love you now. Nobody ever got a <laughs> Nobody's ever seen it. No one's got it on DVD, you idiot. We uh, we watched it, all three of us. We've seen it, no one's got a copy. Well, fuck you. Mm. You don't want a copy, do you? Just to keep this shot as close knit as possible, just so it looked like they were down in sewers, instead of realising we were just on the other side of the boathouse. <laughs> sure, yeah, if you pan like an extra metre to that side of that side, yeah, like it gives it, it gives it all away. Yeah. Like um, that. Like that, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Wayne's probably filming this, that's why that was such a shoddy shot. Yeah, yeah Wayne's, Wayne's yeah. filming it, because there you are, Dom, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wanted to make that scene right there where I was step up, I wanted to make it look really, like, you know, majestic and, you know, like a ruler meeting this day. I was, I was actually trying you to failed be there, mate. Yeah, I was trying to be really dramatic, but it didn't work. <laughs> we, we really pushed the boat out and spent all our budget on the, the monster. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the spider. The spidery bastard. And the skeletal <laughs> figure. I like that bit though, because you guys are like, uh, what we're going to do for Eddie's design here, and I'm like, guys, I've got this, just, you know, just do what you're going to do, just zoom in on me. As, you yeah, know, yeah, we zoomed in and we couldn't actually find the spider. No, <laughs> the spidery bastard. Look at that, it's someone's hand in shot as well. I mean, like. <laughs> That's worse than arachnophobia with the stick up the spikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the end then? Is it over? I don't know. Where's this bloody spider going to appear? Oh my god! Jesus, Mary and Joseph! Ah! Uh, uh, spider in bastard! Uh, damn! Uh, uh, when I say damn, I don't mean like a wolf. Damn, I mean damn! I mean, I'm dying, I've been killed by a giant spider! Yeah, I look back on it, it was fun. It was me and my friends. That's the way I will always look at it. If you're making a movie that you know you're making it with an analog camera, it's all it's gonna look old, it's gonna look sh shoddy. Just have fun with it. You know, I mean, you see all these people on YouTube ripping people apart. Why does it all have to be professionally done? You know, you know, hundred hundreds of dollars worth of CGI. You know, just. Whatever happened to people just picking up a camcorder and having fun? The nightmare.